Alrighty, I hope the music isn't loud. I think this camera potentially um, uh, gets rid of the background. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, uh, but anyways, you know what? Um, it's, well, I know what it is. It's World War I. Um, I'm just not, I just, nothing else seems to matter. And it's not a, um, oh, it's just what I want to do now, man. And, uh, uh, you know, I just take breaks or whatever. It's good, obviously. Like, for example, you know, I did whatever to go to the War Museum and do other stuff. And it was nice to, you know, obviously, yeah, it is. A, bal a balanced diet, I guess. But part of this is I was like, okay, I got to start getting uh, getting into uh, World, uh, World War One. Oh, my God, I did it again. Uh, getting into Halloween because uh, it's not about me. I, it, it dawned on me earlier because I was like, wait a minute, it's about the kids, man. Do you remember when I was like, because I'm usually, I get pretty gung-ho about it and so on and so forth. Well, my birthday's the day before and so on and so forth. So it's always been like this double whatever. And I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll start showing, uh, like do a silly little video of uh, my favorite uh, or lesser known horror movies that you may not know about. And I was like, you know what? Uh, screw that. I'll just, while I'm showing a few that I like that may be lesser known, I'm not going to go through them all. Maybe you'll see some and go, yeah, that jogs me to watch something. Or I'm not saying you have to comment or whatever. I'm just saying it's just for entertainment value. I will say one thing. Uh, a lot of the uh, compilation, uh, you know, 12 uh, horror movies in, you know, in four CDs or whatever you get. I, of course, you probably can't buy these anymore. I don't know. Uh, or DVDs. Um, a lot of them are good, man. Like you can get okay. Some sometimes you may not get the best quality version, but I find it's like a good taster to find. Like, hey, I may want to get a better version of that movie. A perfect example, which I still haven't got a better version of, is called. Um, um, let's see if I do this again. Oh shit! I, I'll have to look it up. It's one of my favorite movies. Uh, it's just because I got so much effing going on in my head. Uh, scream! Uh, hold on. Um, it, it'll come to me when, uh, well, let's take a look at some other stuff here. So some of the things you potentially, uh, like I said, you may go, yeah, I've, I've known about that movie for ages. I am a huge Barbara Steele fan. Um, she's just freaking awesome. So I've, I don't know if I have all of her, uh, no, I don't cause I don't have like Piranha or any of that stuff, but I've got all of her old Italian, uh, horror stuff. And like I said, I'm sorry if you don't, you can't see. So this movie this one is my absolute all-time... I'm just going to take a look and see if you can. Yes, you can. Um, this is my absolute all-time favorite gothic horror movie I try to watch once uh, every Halloween night by myself. Um, it is... Ex I'm not going to get into the plot. I'm just going to tell you that I find it really good uh, um, to only uh, watch it via candlelight or just the, uh, the light emanating from the screen. It is really good and ironically one of my um, uh, favorite directors uh, Mario Bava uh, ended up uh, did this uh, and didn't want to I think or got forced into it or some bloody thing or whatever I think he did Mario Bava did it uh, darn it you pretty darn sure he did I was, it was anyways it's a I absolutely love it it's really good this version uh, the one I got is um, it's all over the place. Well, there's a couple of uh, bits where they, uh, to get the full movie, uh, they had to use um, uh, other bits that were in French kind of thing. I don't know if I have the, well, it's certainly not the American version. I can tell you that much because there's some funky stuff that goes on later. Um, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Well, this is the, um, uh, the, uh, the Danse Macabre is the uh, is the proper version. So I guess maybe it was French when it came out. A lot of this is Italian, though. Um, so that's a great one. I don't know if you know anything about Barbara Steele, but she... Well, I know that Dan Pancaldi knows about her big time. Um, this one is, if you do know about Barbara Steele, it's probably, I would consider, you know, everybody on their dog knows about Black Sunday. It's a goodie. It is a darn good one. Um, I'll say that. But um, I'm not mentioning it in a weird way because... Uh, um, Everybody knows about it, or if you know about Barbara Steele, you know about it. What is it called? Uh, scream, baby, scream, or something, or die, baby, die. Uh, I got it. It is 
one of the best flipping movies, horror movies I've ever seen. Yet again, I'm, in, I'm totally into uh, the gothic stuff. Uh, I'm not really into slasher stuff. Um, I've got some slasher films. I will say my favorite serial killing type movie, if you want to call it that, would be, uh, it's called um, Don't Go Down in the Basement. Um, it's exactly what the movie says to not do is what everybody does and dies. It's... <laughs> That's freaking amazing. It's a really, it's one of these in this compilation. I'd like to get a better version of it. Um, it is awesome. And I've got this, I've got, like you see, a little slew of um, Mario Fulci uh, uh, dudes, uh, like the Black Cat. I'm not into this uh, type either stuff. Um, yeah, oh darn it. Maybe I'll have to zoom in a bit more so you guys can see. I'm sorry. Um, you may actually hear that music, darn it. Sorry. Um, this is extreme gore. Uh, gore to the point of, I just think, um, uh, just adding gore for gore's sake kind of thing. So if you're into g all unbelievable gore, uh, this is probably the way to go, uh, I would say, uh, for sure, is Mario Fulci. Uh, sorry, uh, Lucio Fulci, um, without a doubt. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not into that, but I've got a lot of his stuff because I guess I was just into uh, trying to explore it. City of the Living Dead, I would say, is probably the one to go for if you're into that. I'm a huge H.P. Uh, Lovecraft fan. That's why I've got From Beyond here. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, you probably have heard about it. It's all right. Um, Ninth Gate, you've probably heard about it. Absolutely adore this film. Uh, it is just a darn... Uh, God, it's good. It is just, I just, it's one of the, well, I like movies that make me think for a long, 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 long time afterwards. Uh, let's not even get it into Rosemary's Baby. That I uh, saw it once, a long time ago when I was a kid, and it's still in my head, for sure. Let the Right One In, you probably have heard of that a thousand and one times. Um, this is a, uh, well, I've got, you know, the, um, uh, the foreign version. Um, and this movie... I would say, I would call it a uh, doing vampire movies properly in modern days. It, they just do it right. And um, blows me away how, how much impact this movie had on me. I saw it a long time ago and ended up buying it again uh, or whatever. And um, it, uh, I'm not kidding you. Like I'm talking like uh, it'll just randomly pop into my head. I'll uh, just uh, think about... A scene in this, and I'm like, yep, about uh, about things is what I'm trying to say about relationships and. Oof. Let's not get into okay. The thing, the thing, the thing. Yeah, I looked at The Shining, but <sighs> why the hell did they make a remake of that? Is beyond. I I just do not understand that. Is uh, let's not even get into that. That has got to be one of the best. Oof, what a movie, man. Jesus Christ. It is just uh, such an immersive film. I, for me, anyways, just knocks me on my socks. Is this turning into like a favorite whatever? I didn't want it that, <clears throat> excuse me, to be, but tough. I guess that, that's the way it goes. I'll try to zoom out. Yeah, just being Mr. Re and you know what? You know what it is? I think it's because it, I know it's my last night before going back. I have to start thinking about reality which sucks a hind tit. Uh, this is interesting. It's a TV series that Hammer Horror did um, a while back, and uh, it's not bad. Uh, there, it's it's really darn good. There's no, bloody, there's no bloody way that... Well, bloody way, sorry. Uh, pardon the pun. It was completely, um, uh, you know, what uh, just popped up. Um, there's no way this would... <laughs> This was that was done uh, like in normal times because I'm sure the you know people would be like whoa that's way too much whatever I don't know what time that like at, at what hour that came out on but uh, there's some, it's some really good stories in there um, I like this for some bizarre reason um, no I'm going to show you the best I personally personally you know other people may not believe me I personally believe this is the best Dracula um, one I've seen. Uh, with uh, Louis Jordan, it is awesome. Yeah, they merge a couple of characters and whatever. There's something about it, man. A really good dance. He seems to just absolutely, uh, like in absolute glee doing it. If you're into H.P. Lovecraft and you haven't heard of this one, <laughs> my God, 
I think I mentioned this before in a, uh, maybe last year. Uh, this is a good one. Um, I remember watching this it was early on and my friend was like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, okay, I have to explain. I'm like, okay, you're re you know, you're watching about a guy reading a book about reading a book about someone reading a book. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, that was fun as hell. This one was that was interesting. I found this um, really surprising. Uh, uh, yeah, I just found it very surprising. Uh, the whole thing very surprising. Was not expecting that. Anything else? Like I said, I'm hoping you guys can take a I like a lot of the old gothic-y type uh, connections, things with them. Um, I love Vincent Price. Absolutely adore him. What a freaking genius. What a damn good actor. Um, an amazing actor. I would have loved to have seen him in, in um, so many other things. You want to see uh, how good um, uh, Vincent Price is? I've got it over here somewhere. He does the entire freaking, uh, he does, well, not the entire freaking, but he does a ton of the Edgar Allan Poe stuff. Um, and you can see he is not reading it from one of those teleprompting uh, type things. That guy's got it in his head. And he is like really, really into it. Um, like, oh, darn it. Oh, is it, oh, here it is. Yeah, I love these midnight movie double feature things. So it's uh, yeah, an evening with Edgar Allan Poe. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, brace yourself for a fearsome fright fest. It is fantastic, and you can just see him though. He's talking about uh, about you know the guy looking at the guy's eye, and you know how that that opaque look. Remember, I was talking about um, uh, Charles uh, Retora. Ah, that's what the uh, the type of eye I want to get for the rat. Bingo bongo. That's exactly the what I was thinking about with the eye vulture thing. You see where I'm coming from? Anyways, that's it. Um, yeah, love, absolutely adore uh, Vincent Price. Um, that's it, really. I'm like I said, I can go on for what, whatever as per usual. Um, the Exorcist is a. Um, I don't care what anybody says. Um, that must have effed people up bad, bad. Oh gosh. If you guys haven't seen another good. Yeah, this guy would say kind of it almost should have been a graphic novel or I don't know if it was Captain Kronos uh, Vampire Hunter awesome freaking film and if you like a bit of um, you know um, titillation or whatever C Caroline Monroe's in here so there you go uh, oh, that's another one that screwed me up a little bit too uh, was The Legend of Hell House really darn good I think this is based on some kind of uh, whatever um, good um, yeah, these are these yet again. Um, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Like I said, I'm into these uh, old uh, Italian gothic -y. They just seem to have um, got it right. I don't know. Yeah, Reanimator, eh? Fright Fa uh, Night Fright, the original. Damn good. I don't know what the, the newest one is. Hammer Horror, I already showed you that. Um, another one is Peter Cushing, man. Uh, uh, just an amazing, amazing actor. Uh, mind-bogglingly good. Um, uh, come on, let's be honest. That guy, that guy just, uh, so believable beyond, I mean, beyond belief. <laughs> oh, God, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I should just stop because I am becoming a beyond idiot. Idiots. And like I said, I've got to start darn thinking about, um, so what would I want to... Yeah, Suspiria. Uh, I would say Suspiria, to be honest with you, it's mostly... You know, you want a serial killing movie, go for it. And with a bit of a twist, if you want to call it that, would be this. Um, it's the music. Oh my god. Do you know what pisses me off beyond... And I'm not effing kidding me. I could have seen these guys in Ottawa. Don't even start. Don't even start. I didn't go. What a bunch of... Oh, I don't even start. Um... And then, oh yeah, Trilogy of Terror. You want to see a darn good, uh, Linda Blair in this, or Karen Black, sorry. Why do I always say Linda? Oh, it's Ghost of the Exorcist. Karen Black, um, what can I say about this? That, it's just mind, amazing. Amazing. The third one is just jaw-dropping this stuff. It's all good. Uh, the third one just, uh, knocked me on my... Oh, there's the only person uh, actor is her and the doll for crying out loud. Uh, I saw that as a kid. I don't know what my parents were thinking. Uh, that's mostly my uh, my mom. My dad was off in Wonderland. But um, yeah, um, there we go. Lots of other uh, oh Dagon's a goodie. Um, yeah, it, it's a bit of a yeah. I'm trying to 
trying to think of uh yeah it's mostly probably the uh the little um what do you call it the uh the anthology or the collections of whatever oh there's another one an american one with the lighthouse um he kills his kills his fiance he gets uh haunted by her that was darn good yeah darn it i can't remember the name of it but it was part of like you know 100 video uh, 100 movies and 10 discs or something all right that's it okay oh my god and the changeling sorry um there's a movie that scared the heck out of me and there's no, uh, you don't see anybody killed or any of that stuff, you know what I mean, kind of thing. There's no blood or, you know, uh, horrible things. Um, I mean, that wheelchair just, uh, when it goes down the stairs, I'm sorry, uh, if you hadn't seen it, sorry. Uh, it's just, wow, well, it turns and you're just like, what the hell is, I'm out of here. Burnt offerings. Woof. All right, that's it. Happy Halloween.